Hey guys, well after the maiden flight crash, we're gonna try to rebuild the 152. First thing I did once I got home after the crash, I just uh, printed out all of these parts. So just print out all the new landing gear pieces, uh, the battery tray, spinner, and then the new nose piece. Now your first thought would probably be to just, uh, why don't you just reprint the whole fuselage? Well, it's about five days worth of printing for the fuselage, uh, another day and a half for the tail, another day for the landing gear. So there's a lot of plastic and a lot of time to reassemble the whole thing. So I just am going to try to repair what broke in the crash. Uh, so here I'm disconnecting the elevator and rudder control so I can get better access to the tail portion. Uh, and there's a chip that broke out there and so what i'm using is some scrap pieces of plastic from when i built this and i'm going to cut this out so it's a little bit easier shape to remake and then i'm going to cut out the scrap piece of plastic and then i uh, glue it back in place and then once i have that fixed i can glue the tail back onto the fuselage After I removed the nose gear out of the fuselage, there's just one broken piece. Uh, luckily, I still have the piece of scrap that I used for practice painting, so I'm gonna just cut a piece out of that and put it onto uh, the fuselage. I'm gonna use that piece of tape there just as a measuring tool, and I cut the piece out and glued it in place. Looking at the motor a little bit closer, you can definitely tell that it got hot. This screw right here is definitely pulled through, and down below here, there's signs of melting the bottom here. Another problem that I found is looking a little closer at the piece that broke here. Right here, you can see that there's a clean break, a seam of where the glue would should have been. Because it broke, so clean and it didn't really pull any of the plastic away. Seems like it was a failure in the glue. I didn't, you know, have enough glue there or uh, just didn't make enough contact there. On this side, there's a little chip taken out from here. So that was a better glue adhesion. Then there was a clean break just next to that. There could have been a combination of not enough glue right along this area. Didn't have like a strong top portion of the motor mount, along with the fact that it was heated. Looking at the design, it doesn't have room to bring in air very good to the engine. It brings it around the side here, and a normal 152, the motor is horizontally opposed and it has the cylinders here, so it cools really nicely. But where we have our brushless motor just sitting right behind uh, this part of the front, it's not really cooling it. So to replace this piece on the front here, take a Dremel tool and just cut right in between right in front of this line so that I don't damage this portion and I just damage this portion and then I'll glue the new piece on I'll sand it down to this line and then uh, glue the new piece on there and you can see here there's some cracking there's a big crack here one up here and like one right here what I did was I just took some of that CA glue and just put a little CA glue right on the top of that I let it dry for about three seconds and then I took a paper towel and just wiped the glue excess glue off so that way it just leaves a nice thin of glue right over the crack and it makes it pretty strong. Let's go ahead and start cutting the nose piece off. Once I glued the nose piece back on the fuselage, I added just another bead of glue on the outside of the fuselage just to add extra strength. I'm going to take a piece of 16 inch balsa and put a thin piece just between the motor and the firewall just to act as a little bit of insulation so that it'll try to not get the firewall so hot.
Okay, so another problem I'm having with this is axles. So I 3D printed the axles that it came with, and if you're building this plane, definitely don't do that. Uh, they are very weak axles and they break really easy. Uh, I'm gonna replace it with a wooden dowel. Still gonna use the 3D printed uh, tires they have and the rims. So I just got this wheel out that wasn't spinning very good. I thought it was gonna be broken like right on the, one of the ends, but it actually, broke in the center. Cut the wheel out for the other side and it was broken right there. It was a clean break on that side and then on this side I just used a saw to cut that axle. We rebuilt the 152. We got a new nose cone on, uh, fixed all the broken parts, uh, new landing gear. I'm gonna go ahead and take it two laps in the pattern and then uh, land it and check the temperature. And did two laps in the pattern uh, and then I'm just checking the temperature what looks like it's about 132 on the engine
about 140 right now. Hey guys, thanks for watching the uh, video. Let me know if you guys like it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.